everyone, welcome to the Reading Rush, day four. So, it's Thursday morning, I'm having coffee and working already, but that's my work week, I have to work. Yesterday I read like 54 pages of a quite kind of thunder. I have don't have a lot left. Let's see. I have only this small part left and I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it today. I like the book. But I'm I'm waiting for something to happen and now that there is this much left, I don't know what's going to happen something has to happen but I like how it's about two teenagers and the girl as I said she doesn't talk she has a severe anxiety and she just can't get herself to talk like the words just don't come out and then she meets the boy Reese and he's deaf and it's easier for her to talk to him because they use sign language and she doesn't feel pressure to talk so yeah it's it's actually re really cute the, the relationship i re really like it and yesterday there was a bit of like their first times for some things and <laughs> it was a bit fun and cute too but yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna finish this one today uh, but now yeah i'm gonna return to work and see you after it no dating we're gonna focus on us we're gonna do some self-care we're gonna have some self-growth I finished another book so book number two this one was for verse stone challenge prompt thing I really liked it it's a cute why cute why a contemporary romance yeah it's a really cute story about two teenagers oh yeah it's nice I'm happy I'm done with it I think the next book I'm gonna pick up will be the Where is my Kindle? I need to find my Kindle. Where are you? Oh, there it was it was too bright. I'm gonna read Simon vs. Homo sapien Agenda by Becky Albertali. So Yep, that's my next read. And that is for the movie. Book to movie. No, like the book you haven't... You have already seen the movie for. Or something like that. So, that's right here. If you would focus. But, yes, that's it. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I need a little break. Well, I just was filling in my reading journal. I colored in pages for the Quiet Kind of Thunder. And I totally forgot about the mini challenges for the reading vlogs. I did the tea, make tea or coffee one. But there is one match you're off 
outfit to book. Let's hope I'll remember that tomorrow or the day after. But there is the third one and that's tell a favorite book story. And when I wrote those down, like when I found out that there are these challenges, I was thinking about book stories. And I remembered when I was a kid, I don't remember how old, but I spent my summers at my grandparents. When the school ended, we went, were sent there and we came back just before school started back again. And we read books. I remember this Enid, Enid Blyton series about kids. I loved those books and I remember reading them and like taking the book and going and hiding somewhere so no one would know where I am and what I'm doing and just reading a book. And there were some place like favorite places to hide and you had to look for another place if there someone was already there like my sister. I recently got like um urge, not urge, I don't know how to call it, but I wanted to reread those series, but I don't have them. And I don't really know the English title for those. I need to look them up, but I would like to find them in Latvian and reread them like that, but yeah. I don't know if they are with my sister kids or not. Maybe they have them and they read them, but yes, that's my little book story from childhood. <laughs> that's gonna be it for this vlog. This is gonna be a really, really short one. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me know what you're reading. Are you reading anything? I will read the Simon versus Homo sapiens agenda before I go to bed, but yeah, I need to deal with the vlog and I'll update you on my reading tomorrow. So, yep, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace out.